Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I'm going to be doing an Amazon mini nail haul. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So I'm going to start by uh, this first box that I got from Born Pretty. And as you know, I love using their stamping polishes, so I got one that was a 24 count. So this is a lot. This is a big box. It's really pretty too. Shine Myself, Born Pretty, Professional Nail Art. One end of the box, Born Pretty Nail Art Set. Upside down, hopefully nothing falls out, but um... We've got our contacts, contents, <laughs> volume sizes, customer service information, cautionary tales, storage, how to contact the seller via Amazon, via email, join us on Born Pretty, their YouTube channel, Instagram, and then of course the typical icons. Now, of course, I am affiliated with Born Pretty. If you'd like to look at the link, I'll leave it in the description box below. My discount code is ismsbyjosie. Please consider using this as it'll help my, me and my family out. It'll help me get more videos out to you. So I'm going to pull up this over again. We're going to see if any of the bottles fell out. <laughs> big bottle, a uh, big box. So I'm kind of excited about it. So all the bottles are intact and I flipped it upside down you guys. So that's good. <laughs> Comes with this little pamphlet, All Shine On Me, Stamping Nail Art Usage Manual. It's got a few questions on there. How to stamp the conditions of your plates after stamping to clean stuff off. It might explain the effects of stamping, stickiness of stamper, quality of stamping polish. I mean this must be um, everyone's question uh, because uh, stamping is not an easy thing. It's something that you definitely have to get used to but once you get used to it it's so easy, especially if you stick to one brand. I always use Born Pretty. I'm familiar with it. These are definitely new bottles compared to the ones that I've, I bought from like 2016, but um, the formula should be similar. And on the back, customer service information again. So there's no questions about it. Uh, reminders, instructions are based on cleaning nails, blah blah blah, like prepping, um, cautionary tales, and step-by-step -step illustrations on how to apply the stamps. This is probably helpful. I should probably read it. Maybe, <laughs> I mean, I, I know how to, how to use Born Pretty stamping polishes and their plates, but I'll read it anyway and try to see if the step-by-step -step is actually a helpful one. So look for that video. But now I'm going to move on to the 24 polishes. Look. This might be a long video just showing the colors. My nails don't even fit in here. Wow, this is very secure. So this is something that I would definitely leave them in. But they're not gel stamping polishes, they're regular nail polishes. And um, obviously you can tell because it comes in the clear bottle. So we don't need to go buy all these. I'll do like an, uh, several videos using all these colors. So you'll eventually see that, but I am going to open up each one one by one so you can see the beautiful colors. But if it's stamping polish as I remember it being with the um, same formula as I have um, back in 2016, 
this is the the bottle that I that I have. This is the six milliliter bottle of uh, a bottle I bought back in 2016, and this is the seven milliliter bottles now. So definitely went through some repackaging. I like that these are nice and tiny and manageable on a table, but these are pretty too. And obviously the color through the bottle is true to its color because they're all clean, um, clear colors, uh, clear bottles. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be just opening the bottle. You don't want to open it for too long because the stamping polishes dry really fast so you don't want the polish to um, dry on there. But uh, some of these colors, I, I, I gotta check if I have these colors already. But I think some of them are new so I definitely don't have them. Such a pretty color. I'm just gonna say that these are already like different colors from what I have in the past. And my nails do not fit in here. <laughs> and look at this color. Oh my gosh, so pretty. If there is a pink that I like, it's definitely hot, hot pinks magenta pinks Pretty purple, a plum, or a grape. It's amazing how many colors you get and I'll leave a link of this product in the description box below I totally needed black um, because I forgot how much this is it's a pretty penny but not as pretty if you buy the bottles individually that they do sell on their website which I think is crazy because ooh, this is like a mustard could totally use this a lot in uh, my worldly Josieisms, um, which is crazy because the seller on Amazon is born pretty. So why wouldn't you have that on your website too? It's just a little weird. This is a pretty metallic purple. I think I have this one. It's a very nice color. Ooh, this would be a good nail polish. <laughs> like a nude color. So I'm seeing that some of my fellow YouTube sisters are um, starting to stamp more. It's a thing. We're going to do this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Did you see that? It's such a pretty metallic green. I love it. This is my favorite. Um, but I see you guys whipping out those stamping plates and polishes. I commend you all. <laughs> so I'm not going to be on this journey alone. Ooh, this is like a purple hollow. Look how pretty that is. I've never seen that in a stamping polish before. So this is very exciting. I actually want to see what it's going to look like on a stamp. Oh my gosh. 
This is a copper color. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I want these as polishes. Screw the stamping polish. I wish they gave them names. I guess it's easier to give them a number. But these colors are so pretty. I like when they do like funny, funny names for the colors. Oh my gosh, look. It matches. I love this color. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I definitely don't have this color. Oh, and I definitely needed a white. I had no white and no black left from my last purchase, so I definitely needed these. Oh my gosh, it's a hollow, I don't even know. A hollow coral, a hollow pink. What is that? Anybody know? Hollow. Hello, can you see this? It's like oil slick. And I'm amazed at the, um, whatever this stuff is. It is keeping the bottles nice and, and cozy in here. <laughs> These guys aren't moving around. Another green, this is like a mint green. I have so many colors now, you guys. I'm like so happy. You know, I, I mostly use these to, to draw on my nails. So, you know, I'm going to have all the colors that I need to do whatever crazy design I need. Oh my gosh, it's another green and it's metallic. Look at this. St. Patrick's Day. I don't have a plate for that. Oh, bummer. But I love this color too. I love all the greens. Last row, you guys. It's a little sad, but <laughs> this looks like another nude too. I love like these nude colors. They're very um. It's like a taupe, maybe. I like it. Ooh, what is this? Like a royal blue. Wow, that's so deep. These colors are so bold. They're going to look so cool on a stamp, like, sometimes with certain colors, it won't, like, pop in a stamp, and that's disappointing. Like this one right here. <laughs> this is, like, a lime, or a lime green. I feel like this would not come out so well in a stamp. I feel like all these other ones here are just so bold, but I could be wrong, though. We'll see. Yellow, this one too. So we're going to try some of these like yellowish lighter colors and see if they pop on a stamp. But my experience with these yellows is that they don't show very well in a stamp image. Because it's more transparent. Oh my gosh, look at this. This one's like a, like a pinkish burgundy. Can't you guys? This is too cute. Last but not least. Oh my gosh, do you see this? It's silver. Now I do have a silver in the ones that I've purchased years ago, but what this doesn't have that I wish it had is a gold. So this is gold that I have from a long time ago. So there's no gold, but they do have that copper one, which is freaking amazing. But that's it. That's the 24 colors I, I got you guys. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to get your hands on this stuff. 24 colors all in one box. I love getting sets. I don't like getting loose things unless I specifically need to find something, but I find that like that's not a good idea because <laughs> my shopping list gets extra long. Shopping cart, I mean. So now I have um, these two 
boxes left. So how many times I've needed some flocking powder. So for those of you that don't know what flocking powder is, um, it's like, I need to go in, I did the plush for the night at the improv. I did the, the kitties. So this is really fine, fine, fine fiber. And you can stick them on your nails and then your nails are going to look nice and velvety. So I'll also leave a link for these in the description box below. It comes in a, um, I thought it came in a 12 pack, so for some reason I have more than that. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, um, maybe it was a, maybe it was a 24 pack, but I'll leave a link for the description box below. And I want to open this up, you guys, because I want you to see exactly what it is I'm talking about. These nails are not meant for opening boxes. This reminds me of um, Connect Four. <laughs> Clearly all of this is tight, tightly um, packaged, sometimes with the glitters, I feel like they weren't tightly screwed on and then it'll be loose. No bueno, but I'm just going to lay out these colors here. It's a lot, so now I can, I can do so much now, I can do like a bunny for Easter. Oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have a white. <laughs> I'm going to have to make like a different colored bunny. But for, So I'm going to open this, you guys, and I'm going to show you exactly what this flocking powder is. And I hope that you can see it. But see, it's just fluff. All this is, is little little tiny super tiny fibers and they fill this up all these um, pots are filled to the brim so uh, essentially you only need a thin layer of this what you would do is put some gel polish on here sprinkle it on um, you can tap off the excess cure it and then kind of brush off with a stiff brush a clean stiff brush um, that I have like here, kind of stiff, brush it off and you'll find that you don't really need much of it but that's what I got you guys and I got them in all these colors and I would open them all up for you but this is so super clear you can basically see all the colors here so, this is my unboxing, you guys. I have myself a 24-pack of stamping polish, as well as a 24-pack of um, flocking powder. So, I am so excited to, to use this and demonstrate these products for you. So thank you so much for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again Thursday. We have Worldly Josieisms, and I will try to do a um, nail designs with the stamping polishes and this in different videos. I'm not going to try to go crazy and mix it all up in one video. But I'm going to take my time with this because I have to come up with something extra, extra. I don't know. <laughs>
All right, so I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.